The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. This is Christine Langley with the Wyoming Women's Business Center, and I want to welcome you to Customer Management in QuickBooks, the online version. The Wyoming Women's Business Center is a nonprofit organization that assists individuals who want to start or expand small businesses in the state of Wyoming. And we do this through three distinct programs. The first is business training and counseling. Next is access to capital through our microloan program and individual development accounts programs. And then lastly, through our professional artist development center. Now, this QuickBooks training series is brought to you by our microloan program, which was started to provide access to funds for those unable to get business loans through traditional means. So if you'd like more information on our microloan program, you can contact Waldo Smith. And now I'd like to turn it over to Derek Campbell with Capital Clarity Company. Welcome, Derek. Thanks, Christine. So like Christine said, in this video, we will be discussing best practices for managing your customer list in QuickBooks Online. A customer is anyone, individual to corporation, that pur purchases goods or services from your business. Customer management is arguably the most important aspect of running your business. Without sales and subsequent collections, your business would simply not exist. It's important to keep track of your customers in order to expedite the billing and collections process, but also just to monitor and track sales by your customers. Knowing more information about your top customers will make it easier to maintain relationships and encourage sales growth. For most accurate reporting, avoid creating duplicate customers. So after you log into your QuickBooks Online Company account, Navigate to the Sales tab on the left side of the screen and select Customers. Select a customer from this list to see the details and a list of all transactions related to this customer. To edit this customer's information, click the Edit button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. This is where you can edit the company name, contact information, billing preferences, and you can even specify the sales tax status for this customer. Be sure that you're keeping appropriate records for any client to whom you are not charging sales tax on products or services that are subject to sales tax. You can run a report to track customer invoices and applied payments over a specific time period. To do so, navigate to the Reports tab on the left-hand side of the page, scroll down to the Sales and Customers section, and select Transaction List by Customer. Adjust the dates for the period you'd like to review at the top of the page, and then click Run Report. This report will display a list of each transaction grouped by customer for the selected time frame. Review this report for any transactions that look inconsistent or unusual. Thanks again for watching our video, and please be sure to stick around for other videos for more QuickBooks and general accounting topics. Back to you, Christine. Thanks, Derek. The Wyoming Women's Business Center is made possible through several partnership agencies, primarily the U.S. Small Business Administration and the Wyoming Business Council, and so we're thankful for their support and guidance. If you'd like more information on the Wyoming Women's Business Center, you can contact a business counselor directly with the contact information you see on your screen. Or if you're interested in the microloan program, please contact Waldo Smith. Thanks again for joining us today.